It's the early show with Rick and Lola. Good morning to you. Rick, you know we always love to take that opportunity to share a career advancement with sure. people. Uh, maybe you're looking to make a change, uh, and everyone knows in this uh, in this part of our world down here in southern West Virginia, we need jobs. Yes, we do. And uh, we have got a job fair that's actually going to be going on on Saturday up at Adventures on the Gorge. And on the line with us here this morning, one of the owners of Adventures on the Gorge, Brian Campbell, good morning to you, sir. Morning, guys. How are you guys doing today? We are doing, doing really doing well. well. So the season is open, uh, uh, rafting season. Uh, and uh, so how are things going so far? Great, great. We're, um, this is always a very fun time of the year for us after uh, kind of digging out of winter. <laughs> it was a relatively mild winter that kind of came back with a vengeance two weeks ago uh, <laughs> over that weekend, and we had to uh, actually cancel some of our trips. But um, this is always a great time. Every year we hire up to about 500 people. Many of them are the same folks that come back to us every year. A lot of our drivers come back. A lot of our guide staff come back, even a lot of our food and beverage and housekeeping. But we are always looking for um, more folks. And we we like some folks with some skills but we just want people with a great attitude who who want to have fun and that are dependable and show up and we're going to train train you the skills uh, we need food service folks retail reservations lifeguards security guards housekeepers cdl drivers uh and a lot of our guide staff uh in our aerial program so we're looking for all kinds of folks and if you want to have a fun, exciting job this summer, uh, we'd love to see you this weekend. All right. So the job fair is going on Saturday. Um, where, what are the hours? What do people need to do to be involved with that? So just come see us. The job fair is from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we're, uh, we're just off Route 19 on Ames Heights Road. We're about three-quarters of a mile off of Route 19. And just once you come down, start looking for the signs. We're going to have signs all over the road directing folks to the job fair. Uh, we have a fairly large campus. We have a we have part of our campus is on the Canyon Rim, and that's where a lot of our restaurants are, Smokies, uh, Chetties, our pool is out there. But we're actually going to be having the job fair on the um, northern side of our campus, which is sort of what we call our Mill Creek campus. We have a large uh, a large bar over there, uh, a rendezvous lodge, re retail shop. It's where a lot of our river trips meet and a lot of our aerials our aerial adventures meet over there. Just follow the signs, come on up, and we'll have all the various managers there looking for uh, the staff that they need. They need. Now, now, Brian, I'm taking notes from from me personally. Where'd you say the bar was? <laughs> it, it is on the it's on the north side of the campus. It yeah. is uh, very easy to find, especially on a Saturday night. Just come by <laughs> and any evening uh, at night and listen for the music, and you'll find it. All right, we fantastic. got a couple of friends that yes. are going to be playing up there. Oh yes, we the do. Yeah, yeah, Matt, Matt and Mullins Stewart. And yeah, Stewart are going to be playing up there. So yeah. um, I, I have a question because you've used this term a couple of times. And, and I was like, what does that mean? Aerial adventures? Aerial adventure. What does that so, mean? So nine years ago when all of the, the four companies merged together to, to create Adventures on the Gorge, we, we kind of took that same passion we had for running the river and outdoor adventure and went into the trees. And the first aerial adventure we created was treetops or canopy tour. That, that aerial adventure has a series of ten zip lines, five sky bridges. It's a, it's a very nature-based tree experience. You're always up in the trees, zipping from tree to tree on platforms, uh, enjoying nature. Uh, two years later, we added gravity zip line. People really loved what they found at treetops, but they really liked our long, fast zips. So gravity, we went about five miles off campus up into, up in, up into the mountains a little further, and on gravity, you're zipping higher, longer, faster. You're zipping mountaintop to mountaintop. You're above the trees. It's much more of an adrenaline thrill product. And zip lines on treetops range from 190 feet up to 730 feet. On gravity, they go all the way up to 1,800 feet. In 3,100 feet, you hit 60, 65 miles an hour. So it's much more... Of, a, of an adrenaline thrill ride. Right. And then uh, four years ago, we, we added our third aerial adventure, which is called Timber Trek, which is basically an aerial obstacle course. And oh my gosh. there are five different courses. There, there are easy courses. Our yellow course is the easiest. Then we have two green courses, a blue course, and a black course. Each course has 10 to 12 different elements or challenges. Wow. And as the courses go from the yellow to green to blue to black, 
the courses get progressively more challenging and higher off of the ground. And it's just sort of dumb, silly fun. It is a great workout. <laughs> and um, and it, it's, it's a blast. But you will, I always like to say, as you go from green to blue, blue to black, you end up black and blue. Uh, uh, yeah. The blue and the black <laughs> horses are very challenging. Wow. And you're going to you're going to walk away with with a, some some souvenirs on your arms. But you're going to have fun doing it. You're going to have a blast. Yeah. It's, now, like I said, it's dumb silly fun. You're up playing in the trees, acting like a monkey and uh <laughs> Let's say you there's all there's great your safety. Inner you're you're always clipped in, you're always supervised and so um, what we really like about that product, it's good for kids seven and up. Okay. Oh, nice. So a lot of you know, we're not great for kids, for young young kids, or for a lot of the adventures that we do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have our river trip start for six year olds and moving up, and then timber trek at seven, and then a lot of things open up when you get above eight. But we're really good for the older kids, teens. Cool. Uh, but timber trek is one is one of the products that's really designed for kids. Wow, that's and cool. Again, we're talking to Mowgli uh, from Adventures <laughs> on the Gorge. You know, I got to be honest with you. One of the if I, if I did the gravity uh, zip, zip line thing, I'd be afraid I'd bump into the Lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It's <laughs> you know. so high. Up yeah, there. I know, but uh, that so sounds high. that sounds really cool. Now, with really these cool. jobs, with these jobs in, in all of these different areas, is it just seasonal? Or are you looking for year-round people? Uh, specific. We, we obviously skills? have a much larger staff in in season right. and. We, we, we maintain about a full-time year-round staff of about 55 people, okay. and that's going to run the gamut. You know, we, we do keep our food and beverage operations year-round. We are, we are constructing a new conference center that should be done by midsummer. that's going to really help us broaden our season and stay open longer, busier, you know, throughout the winter. We're really excited about that. So a lot of our food and beverage jobs uh, are year-round. Reservation scales back, and we do keep, you know, a good core of our, of our most experienced reservation staff working in the winter. We do a lot of marketing, administration, and construction and maintenance throughout the uh, the off season. There's always a few opens up, but most of what we're looking for now are the seasonal employees, mm -hmm. and uh, that we generally start ramping up hiring right now, uh, April through May. We're very busy throughout the summer, and we really need a lot of folks in the fall too. We, we sometimes we get hurt when a lot of the college kids go back to school in right. August. Right. And we're still really busy, but they're wanting to take a week off before they go back to school. Sure. And schools start earlier and earlier now. Yeah, they and, do. and so um, they quite do. often we have to go through another round of, of hiring in, the, in, in, uh, in August also. All right. Again, we are talking to Brian Campbell. Adventures on the Gorge, they are having a hiring fair, job fair, yeah. going on this Saturday starting at 9. And uh, we're going to share uh, uh, the website so that people can get directions and things like that off of our Facebook page. Um, but if you're maybe looking for a career move or um, maybe looking just to pick up maybe some extra work over the summer, uh, this is definitely something you want to be a part of because tourism is really becoming a focus in our economy here in Southern West Virginia. Yeah, and, and everybody's pretty, and I think everybody's on the right page in the sense that this is kind of where the where West Virginia's future is headed. Now, I would even recommend if you're listening right now and you know somebody maybe from out of the area that hasn't secured employment where they're at, maybe this would be a nice ch chance to introduce them to West Virginia. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe they're an outdoorsy person who would who would like to fly across the sky like <laughs> like Iron Man. That'd be great. And uh, Brian, you said you're you guys are going to be hiring over over a thousand people for the season. Is that correct? No, we, we hire up about five hundred people. Oh, five hundred. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. And, and again, probably half of them are folks that have been with us before that we're rehiring. So we're okay. really looking for about 150 to 200 new employees, and and most of that is going to fall into the the food and beverage world, retail, gotcha. reservations, lifeguards. We have a beautiful swimming pool. Uh, we always need some security guards and housekeepers. CDL drivers and zipline guides. We're actually looking for a lot of our zipline aerial adventure guides. Wonderful. Right, and if somebody wanted to call for more information, where would they need to call, Brian? Uh, they can call our number also, and it's uh, 574-0704. Okay. All right. And, of course, uh, you can always uh, visit uh, their website, Adventures on the Gorge. Dot com uh, to find out more about job opportunities there. Brian, good luck with your job fair this weekend. And if you'll hang on, our, hang on the line, we'll say our goodbyes off the air. All right, thanks. All right, thanks, thank Brian. You so Appreciate much. it. Again, job fair Saturday, starting at nine, over at Adventures on the Gorge. Looks like that would be 
just a great place to work if you love being in the out of doors. You know, I was at I was on the campus uh, when you know they call it a campus. I was on the campus uh, uh, last year. I think last year, the year before, doing a, doing an event out there, and it would, it just has this very. It, it just I got a cool feel to it. I mean, yeah. it's just the environment there is just, just wonderful. And, just you, know, wonderful. I, I, you know, I was walking around on my, my flip-flops and just having a great time. And, it's, <laughs> you know, it, it was just it was a lot of fun. So, uh, Definitely. you know, again, uh, I, we, we recommend that if, um, you know, if, if, if you haven't locked in your employment for the summer, um, you know, this is uh, opportunities abound. Opportunities abound. As you can see, they need a wide variety of people. So definitely check out that job fair and you can find out more. Through our Facebook page, we'll have you linked up directly on our website at 103cir.com. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recording. We're going to do this. It's going to be fun. Time to awaken the living dead. You have somewhere to be. If you don't get to work soon, they'll replace you with someone more punctual. You want to spend a little more time trying to do something with yourself. I've traveled all across the fabric of space-time. The Early Show with Rick and Lola, 103CIR.